Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we will continue static routing. For that we will use some routers and we will use some pieces to configure with different routers in different networks using static. And we will do it in shortcut way. For that first of all we will take some generic router. I am taking three or four generic routers. So I took four generic routers. Okay. And I also took some switches here. So I took four switches for the four router. Now I want to take some pieces. So I take two pieces for each network. And one little thing is that we are using switch here because if we use switch then we can configure more than two pieces or two pieces together and we can add them in switch and switch will be connected to the router. That's why we are using a switch. But we will not do anything in the switch right now. We will see it later. Now I am going to add all the pieces to the switch as there are more than one PC that's why we are using switch here all right all the pieces have been configured into the switch now the switch will be added to the router So adding is complete. Now I will configure firstly I will configure router. For that I will go to the router as I am watching that that Ethernet is F00. That's why I will go to configure option and I will look for first Ethernet 00 and I will turn it on and I will give an IP address. I give 10.0.0.1. So that's all for that. Now I will go to a PC. So the router's IP is 10.0.0.1. So now I'm going to the PCs and desktop, then IP configuration. I give an IP address called that one, 10.0.0.2. And the default gate will, will be the same as the router IP. Now again, I will go to the next PC, again desktop IP address. I'll give another IP address and the default gateway will be similar to the router. All right. Now we will see either our system working or not. If I want to set some data from router to PC, we are watching that it is failed. Now we will try again. Now it is successful. For the same time, we can send data from second PC to the router. Even we can send data from one PC to another PC. The main thing is to take a switch that we can deliver all the data in that network, in that particular network. Now we will configure the same thing for router 2. So we are moving to router 2, then config, then we are uh, watching that the Ethernet is fs00 so we'll go to the first ethernet f 0 we'll give first ethernet 0 and we'll give another ip 20.0.0.0 and we'll turn it on 20.0.0.1 and we'll turn it on now we will go to the pieces so for first PC, we will configure it. So IP configuration will give 20.0.0.2 and default gate will be, will be the router's IP. So we give router, router's IP. Now we will go to the next PC and then we will configure it. We give another IP and the default gate will be same as the previous one. So it's done. Now we'll go move on to the next router. Again, we will configure it. 
we give another IP address different networks different IP address obviously now we'll go to the PCs and again we will configure them so we started from start T so we kept 30.002 and the default gate will be the router's IP remember one thing that two PCs IP can't be similar so that's all for the first three routers we'll move on to the fourth router so we're going to move to the fourth router configure now first it has zero zero we'll turn it on give another ip 40.001 now move on to the pieces ip address 40.002 default gateway is the router's ip all right so every single router is being connected to the pieces now we can now try it so status successful so fast forward time we will press fast forward time to configure very fastly now we are going to connect the routers together so i will connect the first two firstly so connected then i will configure the two now I will go as we are watching that there is a clock rate so we will keep clock rate here and the interface is SE20 so we will move on to the first router we will go to static we will move on to SE20 and we will turn it on as there is clock so we will give clock rate 64000 and we will give a different IP here so we can have 50.0.0.1 so that's it now we'll move on to the next router again we'll go to serial 2.0 turn it on no clock rate just give the same network's IP subject must auto generate it so now the two routers have been connected we can transfer a data from one router to another router so we gave IP address 50 here. Now if I want to configure the next two routers together then we will connect them together. Now we will go to that configuration that is serial 30 and it has a clock rate. So we will go to that router, we will go to serial 30 now as it is 30. We'll turn it on. There is a clock, so clock is 60,000. We'll give a new IP. So new IP, that one will give 60.0.0.1, and we'll move to the next router. Again, we'll configure it as the serial 2.0. So we'll serial 2.0 turn it on. So next, we'll give the same network addresses IP. So 60.0.2 I gave so that two routers have been connected together now now i will connect the last two routers together now as we connected we watching that serial 30 appeared and there is a clock rate on router 3 so we'll go move on to router 3 serial 30 we'll turn it on and we'll give clock rate new ip so i give a new network addresses ip so new ip generated again move on the last router with serial 20 as it is serial 20 turn it on and we'll give same networks ip address all right our first all the routers are now connected so let's try it from this one to this one status successful okay but if i want to send some data from that router to this pc i can't because this router doesn't know the router's ip addresses for that we will do it statically as we will do it in static way we will go to static so static now we will give the network address so we will give the network address of the next router so this router's network address we know that this router's network address is 
20 so we'll give 20.0.0.0 sublink mass is 255.0.0.0 and next hoop next hoop means how the router go to that router so the router goes to that router using this serial 20 port and we know that in serial 20 port we gave the next hoop for that is 50.0.0.2 if we don't understand how we get that or if we forget then we'll go to that router to know its network address and next hoop so we'll move on to that we'll give what is the network address is 20 and their serial 20 was 50.0.0.2 by that we can know that so we get network address subject mask next hoop and so on we will add them so it's done now I can send data from this router to these PCs. So still successful. Now I will configure this router for that two PCs. Now I will go over to that. We'll go static routing. We'll give the network address of that PCs. So network address was 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And subject mass 255.0.0.0 and next hoop is the IP address of serial 20 port that we used for them so it was 50.0.0.1 so we will add it now we'll move on to for the, the next two routers so to configure these two PC for that we'll move on to them and again static we will give that network's address so that network's address was 30.0.0.0 subject mass is 255.0.0.0 and next hoop is the tools that we used here so we used serial 20 so serial 20's IP was 60.0.0.2 so we will give 60.0.0.2 so we will add it so it's done now we'll move on to that router we'll go to static we'll give the second router's ip address router ip address was 20.0.0.0 subject mask is 255.0.0 now next hoop is this router's ip address what they are connected together so that was 60.0.0.1 so we'll add them that's done now if i want to connect the last two networks together that's why we will again go to any of the router if i go to that router that i can understand that the two routers are connected together we'll give firstly we'll go to the static we'll give the last router's network address network address was 40.0.0.0 sublink mask is 255.0.0.0 the next hoop is these routers IP address what they are connected together so that was <laughs> I don't really forget what was that routers IP address that they are connected together so I will go to that and as they are connected with serial 20 so I will go to serial 20 so IP address was 70.0.0.2 so I will give 70.0.0.2 and I will add together now we'll go to that router again static give the network address network address was 30.0.0.0 sublink mass 255.0.0.0 and the next hoop is 70.0.0.1 so adding completed now i can send something from that router to this pc and let's try again so it's successful so first time so i can send a single data from this pc to this pc status successful by that way we can configure some static routing thank you very much for listening